Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I am happy to be here today and I'm gonna go over questions new sellers have that basically prevents them from being successful on Amazon, prevents them from finding success, from continuing and selling products and some money on their product when they're selling on Amazon. There's a lot of things here. Now you can get these lists anywhere online, you know, but unless you understand the context of years of selling on Amazon, doing product launches, working with other products of other people's, other sellers, working with them to launch their products, coaching other sellers on various issues they might be having. If you're just reading a list, you might think, yeah, well, that list is, is what it is, but I already know what I'm talking about. I know my product. I'm dying to sell this. It's my passion product. You're just going, you know, balls to the wall. You're just going to go and sell it and it doesn't matter. You're not going to do the research that you need to do. But let's talk about some of the issues that I want to help you prevent falling into some of these traps. So number one is product research and niche selection. This is extremely important because oftentimes we want to sell things that we find really useful in our lives but guess what it's a product that already there's a lot of sellers selling it or there's a few dominant players and the market is is saturated with those dominant players there's nowhere for you to get in so it's important if you're gonna sell a product that you love it's important that you love the product i think especially when you first start selling on amazon i think it is important you probably use the product you want to sell you have ideas to improve it uh, to make it better and you are you're passionate about the product i think those things are really important but at the same time, despite all that, despite the passion, despite that you love using it, go on Amazon and search for your product again right before you're, you're beginning your research right now. Go look and see how many products are out there that are selling the same exact thing. Maybe your alteration is really going to make a difference uh, and maybe it's not. You can check out some videos on my channel where I talk about how we we help launch a olive oil on Amazon for uh, another company and what really helped it stand out several years ago was that it was in a beautiful presentation. The bottle's beautiful. The, it came in a, a beautiful gift box. It still does. And uh, the quality of the olive oil inside is top notch. It really would be hard to beat the quality. I mean, it's, it's right up there. There are a lot of high quality olive oils on Amazon now, but at the time, maybe there were three, right? So quality was right up there with the top three. I guess at that point, it's just personal preference, your flavor choice. But the presentation was top one okay so when that came out it popped you know there was no other there was one other olive oil in a in kind of a plain gift box quality was high but also their price was higher so here's another mistake that happens with amazon sellers they set their price too high so you need to be honest you know you're a new you're the new kid on the block when you're launching a product you don't have many reviews people don't know your brand name are you coming in at a price that's equal or higher than the competition? That's going to be a big mistake for you. You eventually can get a higher price, but you're going to need to come in at or below and running coupons and other discounts all along the way to keep building momentum. Prime Day deals, all that. There's videos on my channels talking about all these promotional events you're going to need to take advantage of to build brand awareness to get your product into people's hands. They can talk about it to their friends and their friends buy from you at full price or higher prices later. Differentiate your product. You need to do that. That is number one. If you're just coming out with a Me Too product, you're gonna have a hard time finding success unless you're gonna battle out on price. Now, even if you're coming out with such a great differentiated product, initially, you're also gonna have to likely discount that product to find traction. New sellers don't really realize that. They think they can just put a product out there and let it rip, right? You know, the Me Too product. Um, let's say you were gonna do a phone stand. You see this on Amazon and somebody might have said on another YouTube channel, wow, this, this phone stand sells $500,000 a month, right? So you think, oh, I'm just gonna buy the exact same thing and, and put it out there. Eh, wrong, you're not, because guess what? There's probably 12 of these and you didn't do your research and so on. So that's, that's a big mistake, thinking you can just buy the same exact thing and launch it and find success. 
That's just not gonna happen. The next mistake is you think it's gonna be easy and you're just gonna put a picture of your product with a crappy white background and no other pictures around it, maybe no videos and, and no Amazon PPC advertising price per click. You're just gonna put the product out there and think it's gonna sell. And you're not gonna optimize the listing with great pictures, um, a great title, SEO search engine optimization with keywords. You really need to get deep as a new set and understand all these things to even have a shot at uh, success. You know, some Amazon sellers on YouTube will talk about how one in three products that they work to launch are successful. One in three new products, so understanding that. And they're launching products with everything together. Perfect pictures, great layout, A-plus content, uh, brand story, video, doing the PPC perfectly and still one out of three will be successful even with uh, a good agency. So listing optimization is super important and ignoring Amazon's guidelines. Amazon has a lot of guidelines that you need to research. Uh, once you sign up with a seller account, it becomes easy because you can go through Seller University and really understand what all the rules are of selling on Amazon. And if you don't understand it, talking to getting a coach maybe talking to a mentor talking to other amazon sellers to make sure you're not violating amazon rules because what happens with new sellers often is because there's so many rules about selling on amazon they break them and because they don't have any track record selling on amazon uh, amazon algorithmically eliminates them bans them for life essentially because they violated rules they had no idea existed so as a new seller, it's really important that you research Amazon guidelines and really understand how to sell on Amazon successfully and how to follow the rules. It's really important. It's not your playground. This is Amazon's sandbox. And you wanna play in the sandbox, you play by Amazon's rules. Unfortunately, that's how it is. Now, pricing and inventory management. We talked about pricing. Now, you know, uh, the olive oil that I came out with uh, a few years ago, I'm just using that as an example because I already talked about it. Uh, we came out at $24.99. The competition was, let's say for the same bottle, $39.99, $44.99. We were at $24.99 for a couple weeks then went to $29.99 and then coupon it's okay set up coupons uh, eventually got to $34.99 now it's at $37.99 but we also use a lot of Amazon advertising to get the product in front of people so that takes away a lot of the margins of that product but pricing is really important. Had I come out um, at the higher end of $44.99, this product would not have gotten into people's hands as quickly as possible. I'm not really sure where it would be today. You know, I, I would think it would probably be moving a lot less volume. Uh, understanding pricing and playing around with pricing is really, really important. Now, inventory management is another thing that I think even sometimes seasoned Amazon sellers make mistakes. It is important to have a ton of inventory in Amazon, especially if you start to see early momentum in your product launch, because you do not want to run out of inventory. This is going to kill your momentum and it's almost like you're going to have to relaunch your product. So you're really going to want to manage your inventory like a pro. And I do have some videos on my channel talking about inventory management. Man, it can be tough. And the other thing is if your product's seasonal, okay, like Christmas, winter, summer, the volume could explode 1000%. Uh, during those periods it is so important to have the inventory to take advantage of those periods about a month before the actual expected volume is going to come in because what ends up happening is when you send product to amazon it usually goes to one to four warehouses i send all my products to one and then i allow amazon to spread it across the country through their fulfillment network. I pay a fee for that, but it just works better in this business model. So it is really important to make sure you're blasting enough inventory into Amazon so that you can maintain and then grow the momentum of your brand. I always say send in the inventory to where you want to be, not to where you've been. Okay, so if you're, you sold 100 units the last 30 days, you know, maybe, and you have uh, 45 days of inventory left, 
maybe you need to send in 200 units instead of 100. Instead of 30 days of inventory, maybe send in 200, and then it gives you the flexibility to run promos and to increase the sales velocity because you have the inventory there already. So I always stage inventory before I'm gonna do promos, before I'm gonna do prime days. I stage more inventory, even if I'm not gonna sell through. Worst case is I'm, it's there another 30 days and then I'm sending in inventory. If the whole idea of me increasing velocity doesn't work out, well, you know, then the inventory, I'm gonna pay some storage fees, but if you if you don't take the chance, you're not gonna give your product a chance. You need to take the chance. You need to roll the dice sometimes okay and get that inventory in there another thing you want to actually look at is making sure your product is at amazon's warehouse and being fulfilled via fba not fbm fba is fulfilled by amazon fbm is fulfilled by merchant and the the mistake that you can make is if you keep your product just in your hands and you're fulfilling by merchant the fulfillment speeds outside of your state are extremely slow when you do FBA, your fulfillment speeds will be like 24 hours in some locations. And that's just going to explode your sales versus FBM. So make sure that you understand the FBA program and that you get your inventory into the warehouse. Another thing is neglecting Amazon fees. Wow, this is a big one. To sell on Amazon and to have Amazon fulfill your products, big, big fees involved. Oftentimes, Amazon fees can be a third to even 50% of the sales price. And that includes their commission, it includes their fulfillment costs, and includes any other fees you have. So it can be up to 50%. So when you see Amazon sellers on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok talking about all the money in sales, I made a million dollars. They made a million dollars in sales. They probably netted maybe a hundred grand or something. <laughs> you need to account for those Amazon fees because they can turn a winning product into a loser when you finally do the accounting for it. Absolutely understand those fees. So, you know, that wraps up a lot of what I wanted to talk to you about. You know, you have, just to recap, you have basically, you need to understand the comp competition the niche you need to understand amazon and all their fees you need to understand advertising you need to really get into that and uh, you need to you need to understand logistics and inventory needs this is one last thing i can't even talk about this enough cash flow is really tough initially on amazon because you're buying your product from the manufacturer or distributor you're outlaying a lot of cash let's say you're having it sent to your uh, business location then you need to ship it to Amazon. So let's say say it takes only a week to get to your business location if everything's local. Uh, you ship it to Amazon, it takes another week. Then it takes 60 days to sell through that inventory. Meanwhile, after about 15 days and you're starting to understand the velocity, you need to place, you need to get more product into your warehouse so you can send out more. You're essentially funding like 120 days of inventory and you still haven't even gotten paid from Amazon. So the financial side, the cash flow side of selling on Amazon is extremely important to understand because it, it's a long cycle. You know, once things start kicking in and growing, the cash flow cycle shrinks. But you need to understand that you're not going to be getting cash right away. When you sell product on Amazon, you still don't get the cash. They make you wait seven days after the product's delivered to even make a withdrawal on that cash. You know, if somebody bought it on a Friday and they got it delivered Saturday. Okay, great. Now you're not going to actually have a withdrawal on that for seven days. So there, there's even ex an extension of the cash flows. So these are really, really important things as a new seller if you're a new seller to really research and understand this is just one medium length video it's really important that you guys understand this before you lay down the cash before you get involved in this because if you're uncomfortable with any of this stuff you need to get comfortable with it or find something else to do so thanks for joining me. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments or even email me. My email's in the, in the comments below. Always email me. I do try to respond to them. But if you need some actual like hand holding or you need a long call, like a 30 minute call with me, there's a link in the description to uh, uh, book me for a 30 minute call if you want. 
um, it could save you a lot of money and a lot of time in the end just just talking to somebody about some of the things that you are dealing with so thanks for joining me again I will see you guys next time